So today is a nervous day. It's a big day. It um, might be the most pivotal day yet on the whole journey, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that's been a bit dramatic, but uh, it's a big day anyway. It's um, Mollin's follow-up appointment uh, from her surgery. So we're about three and a half weeks post-surgery now. And um, yeah, today is the appointment where they sort of go through, I, I guess, the whole journey so far. Uh, they go through probably exactly what happened during the operation, but most importantly, they go through what happens next. So after the operation, uh, they sent off the tumour to the lab to be analysed. They will have done biopsies on the tumour and all the lymph nodes around the tumour uh, to sort of figure out which way it was going, whether it was in a growing phase or whether it was uh, regressing. I think depending on the uh, the results of that will depend on whether Molly needs more chemo. So um, yeah, a little bit of a nervous one, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. How are you feeling about it? I feel nervous. Yeah. Like I can feel myself tearing up just as soon as I talk about it. So. Yeah. God, not talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't need to go into all the details like and I stuff. Don't, but I don't feel like I can do anymore. Like, I'm done. I don't know where I would find the strength to do it no. again. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I will obviously find it somewhere, if that's what we need to do. Mm. But I, uh, I feel like I just want to lay down and cry as soon as I think about having to do that again. Yeah, I understand it's just been a f***ing journey. It's yeah, been seven uh, months of shit. It's been even longer, I think. Eight, eight, eight months of since the diagnosis. And then obviously months and months before that of, of you dealing with awful symptoms and... I feel like I can barely remember the winter. Like I can barely remember when I had chemo. I can't remember the kids. That's the thing, like we watched a video yesterday mm. when I had radiotherapy. We watched a clip when the kids came running up to us and Bella mm. was so small mm. and I can't remember her growing up to how big she is now. Mm. Sad that is. It's really sad. Chemo does so much to your body and so much to your brain and just is an absolute bastard, to be honest. And it's all worth it if I can be here to see the kids grow up in the big run, but I don't want to do anymore. I just want to be with you guys and feel good and I know. live life. Like, if you look at it on paper, from what they've said, you shouldn't need more. They said that the treatment to start with had worked so well that it looks like it's not going to be needed. But we've beat the odds in the wrong direction All several time. times um, throughout this bastard journey. Yeah, we'll just wait and see. Look, there's nothing we can do about it right this second. No, and we, we do just need to leave. Gotta go and do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's 10 o'clock, okay. yeah. All right, let's uh, go and do it then. We'll uh, keep you updated. Yeah. Wish us luck. <laughs> we need it. We need it. So um, it's the day after the appointment. Uh, we uh, we took a day to just process the news that we got um, to just let that sink in a bit and spend time with with our family. Yeah, yeah, it felt like it was needed, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we had the appointment where. They discussed the analysis of the tumour. I think that was probably the, the main thing that they went yeah. through, wasn't it? They went through a little bit about what the follow-up schedule is going to be and how the operation went. Um, pretty much stuff that we already knew, I guess, yeah. with the operation and whatever, wasn't mm. it? But I think the, um, the main thing was um, they talked about what was next. Yeah, so the main thing that they told us is that there's no more treatment. Yay! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're, we're done. done. We're done. 
unbelievable. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. so crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. The, Cry, the... Uh, every time I say it, it just doesn't <laughs> feel real yet. No. We're done. It's not going to feel real for a no. long time. Uh, no more treatment at all. Yeah. Uh, now it's just to uh, focus on recovery and uh, <sighs> then obviously all the follow-ups. But yeah, I mean, right now, I don't got any cancer in my body. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy news. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the words that they used were... Your cancer treatment is now finished and now you can start focusing on recovery. Yeah. So good. So, so good. Yeah. So it feels a little bit like we've been given permission to have our lives back a little bit. Yeah. I think a lot of the reaction when you tell people is, um, is oh, it's over. But it's not over. There's a long, long way to go. Yeah. But the treatment is over. Treatment is it's over. It's not going to get worse now. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, it's not going to go back to not being able to leave bed and not being around the kids and all of that that's been. Yeah. It's just going to get better from now. And that's the main thing. Yeah. Like, we're not back to our lives yet, but now we can see the goal a little yeah. bit clearer. And that's the main thing. It was also somebody who told me, who's also been through this exact same journey as me, who said that don't forget that it's something that's called cancer hangover. Yeah. And that can hit you like a wave yeah. uh, when you get these news that like you think that, all right, finally now we can just like look forward. Yeah. But you're not really done it mentally yet and that, wave comes over you when you get these news so yeah for sure um that's something that we got ahead of us probably <laughs> yeah definitely i think there's a lot to process mm. and there's a lot that you've not even started to process yet yeah so it's going to take a long time for you to go through everything yeah mentally emotionally mm. but the good news is the physical side of it is done yeah i just need to recover Mostly. from the surgery when you've recovered from this yeah. surgery the uh the the ma the main bit of the uh, the physical side is done. Little monkey coming out. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. I'm super sick. I'm super sick. Beep beep. Excuse the mess, we're uh, halfway through renovation Renovation <laughs> in the back here, so a <laughs> little bit messy. That's how it should look. Yeah, exactly. So it's uh, full speed ahead with the van renovation now, isn't it? Mm, yeah, we're hoping to uh, be done enough so we can go out, even if it's just for a day trip next week. That's the plan, isn't it? Yeah, I feel so excited about that. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we can sleep all of us in the bed yet. Uh, like I can get up in the bed now. Yay. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I think it might be tight to be four of us in this bed, so I don't get any kicks in any any bad places. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not what you want, is it? No. And um, both of our children are like helicopters when they sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, where were we when we got rudely interrupted by our <laughs> three-year-old? <laughs> um, I don't know, but... We obviously told you the big news. Then we got some information about the follow-ups, which is going to be every six months for the first two years. And they said that's a bit closer and like more intense than the normal schedule, just because I'm so young and it was such an aggressive type of cancer. Yeah. And obviously they need to change that a little bit more because I'm so allergic to the contrast that I'm not allowed to have it. So they said they were going to talk to the scan doctors to see what kinds of scans I will get, uh, but I will probably get MRIs instead of CTs, they said, Yeah. because then they don't need the contrast. Uh, obviously, that don't matter to me as long as they can see what they need to see. Yeah. Basically, a really good meeting for once with all good news, everything looking good, just focus forward and start living kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, a license to to start living again, isn't it? Yeah. Permission to like get your lives back a little bit. Yeah. Even if that doesn't happen straight away, it's like we can start looking to the future a little bit. You can start planning again. <clears throat> That's and it's the like, thing. It's not just dreaming anymore. Now now we can actually plan what we're going to do. Yeah. 
it's like we've had all of these sort of vague plans throughout the whole cancer process, what we're going to do after it's over and all this lot. And now we can start sort of putting the details down. Yeah. You can start sort of like planning for real mm -hmm. about where we're going to go with the van and how quickly we're going to sell the house, for example. Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> Next week. Put it on the market. If anybody want to buy it, just message us. Let us know. Yeah. Yeah. House for sale. Yeah. Yeah. We can move in next week. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, obviously, yesterday was a really big day for all of us. So, we celebrated with family. I had my first glass of sparkling wine uh, <laughs> since I can't even remember. Yeah. The first glass of alcohol, even, since all of this started. Um, yeah. So, we all had a little cheers with some uh, some bubbly wine and some happy tears <laughs> yeah we had to carry you to bed <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now we're going to go and celebrate by having our first family day out since uh, surgery and that feels uh, really good yeah it feels nice doesn't it going to take the kids down to the lake and, yeah uh, your dad is here so yeah. we got help with the kids yeah i'm really excited yeah finally can back out get back out <laughs> What are you doing? Do you want some food? Yeah, what what food are you selling? Uh, Paw Patrol food. Paw Patrol food? That doesn't sound very nice. Can I have a can I have a rubble hot dog? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Charlie just gave up, lay down instead. <laughs> So we headed out to a nearby lake to feed the ducks and play some very windy football. It was really great to have the whole gang out for the day. It was definitely a tiring day for Molly, as she's still very much in the recovery phase, but it was so worth it for her to be part of the action. Needless to say, the kids loved it. <laughs> just showing it. <laughs> Oh, it made us even more ready to take the van out next week. The thought of Molly being far enough along in the recovery process for us to be out and sleeping in the van is super exciting. Yes, it's been a uh, really nice couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been amazing. <sighs> feels so nice to start getting back to reality and start getting back to normal a little bit. Yeah. It's a, a long road ahead, but uh, at least it's all sunshine. From yeah, here. exactly. So, it's good. So um, I think that's about it from uh, this video anyway. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Yeah, make sure you join us next week and uh, see what we get up to. Yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.